Lesson 38 today of the workbook from A Course in Miracles. Lesson 38. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. Your holiness reverses all the laws of the world. It is beyond every restriction of time, space, distance, and limits of any kind. Your holiness is totally unlimited in its power because it establishes you as a son of God at one with the mind of his creator. Through your holiness, the power of God is made manifest. Through your holiness, the power of God is made available. And there is nothing the power of God cannot do. Your holiness then can remove all pain, can end all sorrow, and can solve all problems. It can do so in connection with yourself and with anyone else. It is equal in its power to help anyone because it is equal in its power to save anyone. If you are holy, so is everything God created. You are holy because all things he created are holy. And all things he created are holy because you are. In today's exercises, we will apply the power of your holiness to all problems, difficulties, or suffering in any form that you think of, in yourself, or in someone else. We will make no distinctions because there are no distinctions. In the four longer practice periods, each preferably to last a full five minutes, repeat the idea for today, close your eyes, and then search your mind for any sense of loss or unhappiness of any kind as you see it. Try to make as little distinction as possible between a situation that is difficult for you and one that is difficult for someone else. Identify the situation specifically and also the name of the person concerned. Use this form in applying the idea for today. In the situation involving blank, in which I see myself, there is nothing that my holiness cannot do. In the situation involving blank, in which so-and-so sees himself, there is nothing my holiness cannot do. From time to time, you may want to vary this procedure and add some relevant thoughts of your own. You might like, for example, to include thoughts such as, there is nothing my holiness cannot do because the power of God lies in it. Introduce whatever variations appeal to you, but keep the exercises focused on the theme, there is nothing my holiness cannot do. The purpose of today's exercises is to begin to instill in you a sense that you have dominion over all things because of what you are. In the, in the frequent shorter applications, apply the idea in its original form, unless a specific problem concerning you or someone else arises or comes to mind. In that event, use the more specific form in applying the idea to it. Lesson 38, there is nothing my holiness cannot do. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook lessons this year, just go to amytorresason.com and click on Amy's blog.